Sustainable Resources Limited is the organization that puts together this uh, Pathways to Sustainability Conference. I'm chair of the board of that and co-chair of the, of the conference. So I end up being a meter, a greeter, whatever else needs to be done, I will be speaking as one of, at uh, one of the sessions. But I'm here helping with uh, the rest of the team to facilitate a discussion about sustainability of our communities, of our resources, and uh, what we need to do to go forward and continue to have Calgary the great city that it is and the great province of Alberta that we're, we live in. And so why do we need to have a discussion on sustainability? Well, because, you know, we've, we've let things slide for so long. I remember 1987, I had a consulting business and one of my first clients was Canadian Solar Energy Society. And I was helping them to talk to the federal government about sustainable energy. And, and renewable energy and how it was important. Here, that was two, 1987, we were 2013, and we haven't advanced that conversation enough. That it encompasses business and academia and the not-for-profit community and, and, our, and, our, and our neighborhoods. And this, co this conference will help do that, and it, it continues to do that. And it's more important that we don't just have it at the TELUS Sparks facility, but we go back to our living rooms, we go back to our neighborhoods, we go back to our places of work, and we have that continued discussion because it's important for the future, not only ourselves, but our, our planet and our kids. Can you talk about the importance of having an equal discussion and an inclusive discussion? Yeah, I, I think it's one that everybody feels that they have an equal voice, and I think um, the larger voice is more effective. But it's not somebody pontificating and other people listening because people come at it from different experiences, different walks of life, and their input is as important as the next person's. And I think you'll find, as we go through our 30 different keynote speakers, there's going to be a range of opinions, but the questions and answers and the other discussions that happen are just as important or even more so important. What keynote are you most excited for? Uh, I like the one that uh, is going to be done by uh, Walmart Canada. I was able to be part of their opening of their perishable food warehouse here in Balzac. And there's a, a big, large corporate company who has spent a lot of money on uh, renewable energy on, and sustainability of their new facility using solar, using um, uh, hydrogen fuel cell to power their vehicles inside, geothermal. Um, and not doing it just because it, it's a good feel green thing, but it actually it goes right to their bottom line because it makes economic sense and it makes sense for them as a company sustainable, sustainability wise going forward. And I think we need to have more big players um, say that so other people say, you know what, if it's good enough for Walmart, maybe it is good enough for us. And it's not just about the corporate image you want to convey, it's about actually making a difference to uh, help things move forward in the long term. And who are the kinds of people who would want to attend this event? I think it's anybody who's interested in sustainability, and anybody who is interested in, 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 um, in preservation of our, of our communities, of our resources going forward. Um, people are concerned about the environment and our stewardship of our, of our environment and our resources. It's business people, it's, it's not-for-profits. I mean, I've just walked in that room and there's a whole bunch of different people from, from all different walks of life, just people that care and want to get some more information and, and have a chance to have a say. And for the people who do attend the event, either uh, physically or online through the live stream, uh, what would they walk away from? Or what would they walk away with? Well, walk away, you're always going to have more information. And knowledge is power. And um, I think it also give them a little bit of emphasis or empowerment to be able to go and have that conversation, take it forward, back to their places of work, back to their communities, back to uh, their organizations that they came from, and realize that they're not alone. And um, the more, you know, you, you add one more person, you bring another person, you, you, you convince another person and go on, on and on and, and get a real movement going forward. Is there anything else you want to say? I just think it's uh, kudos to uh, Lisa Fox and uh, the group from um, Sustainable Resources Limited who have organized this and all the people that are involved, the volunteers and the keynotes, because it's really important to have that discussion here in 2013 as much as any time in our history. Um, our future relies on it. Thank you.